Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al-anbiya wal mursaleen amma ba'du Then we are on this hadith hadith number 17 The chapter title given to it by the author here of this book the Rusul Am min umdat al-ahkam he says bayanu ba'd the clarification of some al-adab some of the manners or etiquettes adab al-islamiyah the islamic etiquettes or manners fi qada'i al-hajati wa ghayrihi in relieving the needs or in fulfilling one's needs meaning using the bathroom and other than that so this hadith is going to talk about the etiquettes the Islamic etiquettes or manners of relieving oneself and some other adab as well al hadith al sabi ashar the 17th hadith on Abi Qatadata al harithi ibn Rib'i Al-Ansari radiallahu anhu Abi Qatada Al-Harithi ibn Rib'i Al-Ansari radiallahu anhu and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam قال that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said la yumsikanna ahadukum dhakarahu bi yaminihi wa huwa yabun la yumsikanna from meem seen Kaf from Masaka, right? Yumsiku or Yumsiku Amsaka Yumsiku form four. And the noon here is the noon of Tawqeed, a Thaqila or Mushaddada, meaning the la the noon of emphasis, right? So he's here telling you not to do something, and he emphasized that not doing it. لا يمسكن Do not let one of you take hold of مسك يمسكو Right? To take hold of or to grab أحدكم One of you Do not let one of you Or one of you should not grab ذكره ذكر ذكر Is the penis Right? ذكر Here is your penis Right? And it's mansub Because it is the object of grabbing Do not grab or take hold of your penis, or let one of you take hold of his penis, biyaminihi, with his right hand. Biyaminihi wa huwa yabul, when he's right, when he is urinating. Do not let one of you hold his penis with his right hand while he is urinating. Right? Do not use your right hand when using the bathroom. Do not use it to hold your penis. Wala yatamassah. From meme, seen, seen, ha, like to wipe, right? Wala yatamassah, and do not wipe min al khala'i bi yaminihi, right? And do not wipe min al khala'i from using the bathroom when you either defecate it or urinate it bi yamini. Don't do not use your right hand to wipe it, right? Wala yatanafas. Fil ina, wala yatanafas fil ina. Tanafas comes from noon fa seen the root of it. Tanafasa yatanafasu meaning to uh, breathe. Wala yatanafas fil ina and do not breathe into a vessel. And do not breathe into a vessel. Right into a vessel that you're drinking from or. Uh, that you pour out of like this a cup or a pitcher so the prophet sallallahu said an abi qatada al harith ibn ribi al ansari radiyallahu anhu he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam la yumsikanna ahaduhum dhakarahu ahadukum dhakarahu bi yamini wa huwa yabu do not let one of you hold his penis with his right hand and he's urinating Wala yatamassah min al khala'i bi yamini. And do not let him wipe from using the bathroom with his right. Wala yatanafas fil ina. And do not breathe into the vessel. Are there any questions about that?
This hadith is going to be super short today. Min fawaidi wa ahkam al hadith. Min fawaidi wa ahkam al hadith from the virtues or the no, the virtues and the rulings of the hadith. Awalan, the first of them. Nahyu al ba'il. Nahyu al ba'il. The prohibition of the ba'il, the one who is urinating. Right? Ba'il, the one who is urinating. The one, this is from fa'il. An. Uh, an, an, not an. An, 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 an yumsika. Yumsika. Dhakarahu. Biyaminihi. Athna al bowl. The prohibition from. Because an goes with nahyu, right? Amr bil maruf wa nahi an al munkar. Nahyu al ba'ili an 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 yumsika dhakarahu bi yamini athna. Athna means during or while. Athna al bowl, right? Athna al bowl at the time of or during or when urinating. Right, so there's a prohibition for the one who is urinating to hold his penis with his right hand when urinating. Wahua nahiyun karahatun indal jamhur. And the jamhur, the majority of scholars say that this nahiyun, that this prohibition is one of dislike, not one of tahreen. Right? One of dislike and not one of tahreen. Meaning it's not necessarily prohibited, but rather that you're earning a sin if you do so. Rather, it's one of dislike, meaning that if you don't do it, you're rewarded. Meaning if you don't hold it, then you'll be rewarded with your right hand. But if you hold it with your right hand, you won't be punished. Right? That's the meaning of karaha or dislike. Thanian and Nahyu and a Tamasuh Bil the prohibition of wiping with the right hand. Thalithan and Nahyu and a Tanafus Fil Ina Athna Ashurb, the prohibition of breathing into the vessel Athna Ashurb at the time of drinking. Right? Don't breathe into the vessel while you're drinking. Rather, you take drinks in between the, or you take breaths in between drinks. So you take a drink, you breathe. You take a drink, you breathe. You take a drink, but you don't breathe into the vessel while you're drinking. And Rabian, Kamal al-Shari'iyya al-Islamiyya wa shamulu ta'alimiha. Kamalu, the Completion and perfection of the Sharia al Islamiyya of the Islamic legislation, right? Was Shamulu Ta'alimiha. And the Shamul, as we had yesterday in Fiqh, Ishtamala, right? Shamulu, meaning the inclusive or all inclusive, Ta'alimiha. Uh, Ta'alim, Ta'alim is the, plur the plural of Ta'alim, meaning its lessons. And its teachings, right? Its teachings, we will say. Kamal al-Shari'at al-Islamiyya, the perfection and completion of the Islamic legislation, was shamulu ta'alimiha, and the all-inclusiveness of its teachings. You want to say something, Abba Junaid? Or uh, Abba Muhammad? Uh, yes, Shaykh. Uh, yes, uh, this Tanafus. Uh, does this many times we see that people when they are drinking tea they blow into it to make it cold so this tanafus does that include that also uh, there is definitely another hadith where the prophet sallallahu prohibited us from blowing on our food does this hadith uh, refer to it uh, Allah knows best does this hadith is an evidence I, I can't say I didn't I didn't uh, look up and I, as I was reading it today, I, I, I looked and I said I should have looked up. Uh, what is the connection between uh, this and the two 
prohibitions before it. So the first prohibition is don't hold your private part with your right hand. The second one, don't clean yourself with your right hand. And the third one, don't breathe in a vessel. What's the connection with this one with the other two? So I, I, I should have done that. Inshallah, I will, I will look it up. Uh, why why this was mentioned together, right? Maybe because, as he said inside the title here, to show the, or inside of this point here, to show the perfection and the, in the all-encompassing uh, aspect of the Sharia. But why were these mentioned together? Allah knows best. But definitely there is another hadith which prohibits from us from breathing in onto the food. And there are many statements from the Sahaba and the Tabi'een that we would not eat until the steam of the food had left. We would not eat until the steam of the food had left. It's from the etiquettes of the Muslims today to drink very hot coffee and very hot tea. Like very hot. It can burn your hand if you touch it. It can burn your mouth. But they they get used to it and they do it. And they think it's like aib to drink it when it's cooled down. It's not hot anymore. You got to drink it. No. The Prophet ﷺ pro pro prohibited us from eating hot food like this. And the Sahaba used to say we used to wait until the steam had left the food before we would eat it. So it's upon us to follow these etiquettes. As far as this hadith, like I said, does it include breathing onto the breathe or blowing onto the food? I'm not sure if this includes that, but there are other prohibitions which do. A point could be brought up here which is not mentioned here and then I will then we'll just take a break and I'll just make sure that Omar is coming with Usul Sunnah but uh, um, a point that could be made here is Sheikh Abu Salah al Afghani uh, he said using this hadith and explaining this book, Umdat al Ahkam, he said, La yatamassah min al khala' bi yaminihi, and do not let him wipe from using the bathroom with his right hand. He said, This can mean, don't let this hadith, La yum si kenna ahaduhum ahadukum dhakarahu bi yamini wa huwa yabul. Many people think that they cannot touch their private parts with their right hand, and of course, if you don't have the necessity to do so, then you don't do so, right? No problem. You don't want to do so. But the prohibition here, right, is ethna al bow at the time of urinating. The prohibition of touching your private part, your penis with your right hand, is at the time of urinating, right? Not at other times, as we see in this hadith, right? And he says, And don't let him wipe from using the bathroom with his right hand. Right? This shows, he says, this shows that a person can touch his private parts with his right hand. So, if a person were to clean his dhakar with toilet paper or tissue after using the bathroom, he says that he would have to hold it with his right hand and wipe it with the left. That you would hold it with the right and wipe it with the left. Which shows the permissibility of touching your dhaka with your right hand. But not at the time of urinating. And when you clean, you don't use your right hand. So therefore, you would hold it with your right hand and do the tamassah with the left hand. Right? So just a, as a side point that some people think you cannot touch the dhaka with your right hand and this is not the case the prohibition is at the time of urinating and as he said here that this uh, uh, is karahia, uh, karaha it is just like in the jamhur any other questions regarding this I tried to open your microphone but it didn't work for whatever reason uh, no a uh, few hadiths back, we studied that there was a hadith that Kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ayujibu at-tayammunu. No. Uh, 
uh, is that based on that hadith? I mean, it is not preferable to touch it with the right hand because whatever good he used to do it with his right hand, otherwise with the left hand. For sure, and this is what I said. For sure, I said. I said, inshallah, I said that don't don't touch it with your right hand unless there's a a, a need to. No problem. However, the sheikh he said using this hadith that if you were to need to wipe your private part right you have to hold it and wipe it right maybe you can wipe it with one hand and just use your left no problem but maybe you need both hands so you hold it with your right hand and you wipe it with your left but you would not hold it with your left and then take your right hand and wipe it this is the meaning of the and don't let him wipe with his left hand I mean right hand so so therefore it's possible that you have to hold your private part with your right hand while you wipe it with your left but the important thing is to not hold it with your left and wipe it with your right because this is what prohibits it if you were holding it and I don't want to try to draw a picture right it's it's in your mind inshallah if you're holding your dhakr while you were urinating with your left hand and then it came time to wipe it you don't take the tissue with your right hand to wipe it. Rather, you would hold it with your right, right hand and wipe it with your left. And of course, you are Jibu and Nabi Sallallahu Fi Kulli Umurihi that it that he loved to, this uh, using the right hand or preferring the right hand in all of his affairs, right, as much as possible. Right. Good luck, Oh yeah. Shalla. That's what we have today, and we can just take a few minutes break and wait for Omar, inshallah ta'ala. Hadha wallahu ta'ala a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.